So today we want to talk about what's going on with your bag of marbles. But before we do, we want to say something really, really, really important to this whole discussion. Your inner being has a bag of marbles too. And what's in your inner beings bag of marbles is everything you want and all the good feeling stuff that you are. So when you're matching up with that, Oh, it's good in oh so many ways. When your bag of marbles in any moment in time is vibrationally equivalent to the one your inner beings got going active in this moment because of whatever you're living. First of all, you feel great. You feel interested or frisky or happy or full of fun or life or love or appreciation feels really good. But something else that's important for you to know, your inner being stands in this vibrational place. We gave it a name. We call it your vortex. Doesn't matter what you call it. We just want you to know it's real. Your inner being stands there in no resistance whatsoever. And do you know what no resistance means? To your point of attraction, it means it's way, 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 way powerful. Not powerful enough to control what you've got going on with your bag of marbles. But when you join your inner being with that powerful point of attraction already going on, one who's lined up like that's more powerful than millions who are out there on the ragged edge. And that's important to know. It's really worth calibrating to your inner being, calibrating to that frequency. We get it. We know it's easy. In fact, you want to say, and you might be right. It's easier sometimes often must be really a lot easier to calibrate to somebody else. You know how when something happens and you're wringing your hands, you didn't want it to happen. Maybe it happened to somebody you care about. Maybe it's happening to you and you don't know what to do about it. Maybe it's worldwide. Maybe it's nationwide. You don't know what to do about it and you don't know what to do about it, but you have that feeling that if you could just talk to this person, they could soothe you. If you could just lean on this person, if my dead husband wasn't dead and was here, I could talk to him about it and I would feel better about it. Or if I had a friend, I could talk to my friend about it. If my friends weren't all busy doing other things. What we're really saying to you is whether they're available to you or not, those physical ones that you want to lean on a little and explain to a little and most of all that you want to get relief from as you chew it over with them. That's such a flawed premise because they're all over the place. They're all over the place. If you will decide right away sometime during this workshop or soon thereafter, if you will decide that you are not going to calibrate to humans for your relief because it's flaky <laughs> some of them when you talk to them they'll just scold you or they won't understand what you're talking about tell me more which means you'll explain way too much and you'll put way more marbles in your bag about the thing you don't want <laughs> it just isn't a good idea to try to find relief by talking to other people who are afraid of life too what you want to do is calibrate to your inner being who stands clearly in the place of knowing your value, knowing your power, knowing your worthiness, knowing what's going on, knowing the solutions, knowing where you stand in relationship to everything you want, knowing, 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 knowing. You want to calibrate. That's where your relief is. And you know what relief is? Relief is the feeling of not splitting yourself apart from who you are. That wringing your hands is the opposite of relief. And it's because you're focused upon something in a way that your inner being is not looking at it. You see it as a problem. Your inner being sees it as a solution in the making. You see it as something missing. Your inner being sees it as something in the process of becoming. It's a different look, but it's the look you want to understand and to adopt and to practice all day, every day.